Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm actually recording this video uh, after the content of the video because I just realized the intro I recorded for the video didn't actually work. So I'm going crazy, my mic or something didn't work. I don't know what happened, uh, it has absolutely no audio. So uh, it's a good video of me miming a welcome and an intro to the video. Um, running a bunch of videos that you'll notice at the moment. Uh, I've got two weeks off work at the moment. Um, well, one more week left off work. Um, over the time I've just been a whole bunch of little jobs done on the car that I've been wanting to do. Everything from tidying up wiring to uh, fixing the O2 sensor and MAF sensor, uh, which is today's video is me working on the MAF sensor and the O2 sensor uh, and getting that all fixed up. Um, everything from that, cleaning spark plugs to rewiring to putting speakers in holes and stuff. So there's kind of a little mini series going on of just sort of odd jobs that I'm doing around the car, getting things fixed up, uh, getting angle kits fixed, all that sort of gear. So. I uh, hope you're enjoying them, uh, I hope you will enjoy them as they're coming through, um, as I'm recording this after the fact. Um, yeah, so uh, enjoy the videos, if there's anything you want to see, anything you want to know, any more info you want to know about it, uh, some of these have kind of been slap dashed together, um, just recorded on my phone, such as this, um, so video quality is not the greatest, uh, I'm trying to use my mic where possible just so you guys can hear me a little bit better, because I know that your mic's not great on the phone, um, but uh, yeah, trying to, just trying to get more content out for you guys, uh, so I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, if you want to see anything as I said, let me know. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, follow. Uh, it does help me out a lot. Uh, I am trying to build this channel up and get uh, a lot more content, a lot more sort of views and uh, uh, a lot more reach with the videos. Uh, obviously, ultimately, this is kind of where I want to be to, to centralize everything so on YouTube. seems to be the uh, where I want to kind of end up taking the my whole drifting and photography journey um, and the little old unicorns getting there for us. So, yeah, if you enjoy. Okay, job number one done. Uh, kill switch is installed. Obviously I didn't videotape that because that would kind of defeat the purpose of me putting a hidden kill switch if I videotape it and show them where it is. So I didn't videotape that, but kill switch is done. Uh, that was a lot more fucking around than I thought because at some point I'm assuming the fuel pump's probably been changed at some point. So the wires from the fuel pump, actually no. Wires from the fuel pump are different to what's in the manual, but then there's a, a connector about a foot into the boot that changes the wires again, which still don't match what's in the manual. But when I was reading forums last night, the wires from the fuel pump are exactly the same layout as what someone else had. So I'm guessing it's some weird factory thing. They just kind of went, hey, you know what? We've got leftover wires, let's use these colors. Anyway, that is done. Uh, it's kind of a combination fuel pump ignition switch. Um, good luck to anyone finding it. Um, good luck to anyone tracing it. If it's a pro that wants to steal my car, they're gonna steal the car. But this is gonna only stop any joyriders and sort of fuck arounds that may happen to break into it and wanna try and jimmy rig it and get it going. Um, at least a little bit more peace of mind. Um, next job is uh, airflow meter. So with the running issues I've been having uh, when I plugged the O2 sensor in, talking to a few people, uh, airflow meter was the next issue that they kind of suggested. Um, O2 sensor, sorry, let me see what's going on. O2 sensor is down there, is currently unplugged. Um, did pick up a new airflow meter this morning. Well, not new, it's actually refurbished, um, but is in good nick, it is proven to be working. Uh, so first step is uh, airbox off. Well, actually, intake, cold air intake is already off. Um, airbox off, a couple of screws around that to undo that. Um, airflow meter, which is there. Uh, take airbox out. Airflow meter actually screws onto the bottom half of the airbox. Uh, take that off, replace that. Unplug, obviously, replug. Um, I have battery disconnected at the moment. That's disconnected while I was doing fucking around with electrics for the kill switch. Um, so I figured while that's off, ECU is obviously going to reset. I've flattened the ECU, turn the lights on, etc. Um, ECU will obviously do a hard reset, so might as well put the new airflow meter on now before I reconnect the battery and it can kind of uh, tune itself back up with the, the sensors and stuff with the new airflow meter. Hopefully that works. I'll plug the O2 sensor and the airflow meter in together um, and just keep fingers crossed. Don't know if it's going to work, but I'm kind of drawing at straws now. Um, I don't know what else to try with it. so. We have a crack. Uh, once that's done, next thing is rear speakers. Get those in. Uh, and in my whole ADHD chase squirrel kind of mode this morning, I'd uh, take the entire center console out um, to potentially, you can see uh, stereo sticking down the bottom there, uh, potentially or at least start a template for the stereo face, uh, that whole bottom section of the center console. Um, my thoughts are I would like to redo it completely so that I can have cluster gauge, like cluster gauge, gauge cluster plus stereo 
and controllers and shit all on there. Switches, whatever, for neons, for whatever else. Um, if I can put that all on there, that would be cool. Uh, it'd be a little bit neater. Uh, nice little spot for the uh, gauges to sit without fucking around with the, the stock dash. I don't really want them sitting up on the dash or like on the column or anything like that. It just looks, it's not a sex spec car. It's a non spec. Um, I want it looking as non suspicious as possible. So a cop driving past, gauges on the dashboard straight away, red flag. Um, hidden down there, they're going to not look as bad. They're going to look a little bit more OEM, um, a little bit neater as well, uh, and out of the way, not kind of blinding me in the, the face while I'm trying to drive at night. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have a look at that while I've got it out. Um, it doesn't take much to get the sound console section out. It was just a case of I just kind of started chasing everything while I was running cables. Um, also, I need to tidy up the cables under the dash. I've kind of put the neons in. I've put the kill switch in. I've put uh, a few other bits and pieces in. Oh yeah, it's gotten messy under there. Uh, I've kind of, as I've gone, I've just sort of temporarily just jimmy rigged everything up. Um, I'm not sure it's dark enough for you to see, but I've cut all the cable ties that were up there, and there is now just this spaghetti of cables and shit everywhere. So I need to tidy all that. It, but yeah, we'll get that tied up as well, and uh, yeah, get stuck into it. So, if I matter, let's go. Definitely couldn't do that before. So giving that a bit of a that's got a bit of a fault up, but that time with the O2 sensor and that map sensor in could be a little bit off there. So I have to double check the timing in case that's playing up now. But I'll take that as a win to start with. Alright, so had a little bit more of a play with the car. Uh, fuel pump does seem to be turning off. Uh, it doesn't seem to be running. I think it could just be something to do with the like the the new O2 sensor, uh, the new map sensor and O2 sensor. At least you just kind of getting its life back together uh, after disconnecting all the power and, re and resetting it. Um, it does seem to be working okay. Uh, initial appearance whilst in the driveway seems to be running okay. Um, still running fucking rich. The shit that's coming out the back of it. It is so over rich, it's ridiculous. Have a look at this shit out the back here. Yeah, like it's fucking horrid. Um, to the point that I revved it a couple of times, got it started, revved it a couple of times, came around the back and I actually started dripping out of the back of the exhaust. Um, it's running way too rich. Um, as I said, I'll have to have a look at the timing and stuff. Uh, I can't drive it just yet. The front wheel is kind of not on properly. Um, the angle kit's on this side, not on the other side, and this is tie rod's not really on properly, it's all kind of just sitting uh, until the angle, the parts enough for the angle kit, which hopefully will be in a couple of days. Um, worst case scenario, dis disconnect the O2 sensor and keep running it. Um, but yeah, I mean, normally when I rev it in the driveway here, like I can't rev it at all without it backfiring, without it really bogging down. Um, it is letting me do that at least. Uh, I can push the car out and at least have a look at the timing, make sure the timing's okay. Um, it did, if I give it a rev kind of a couple of times, it does have one little backfire here, not massive, only a small little pop. Um, again, that could be a timing thing with the uh, with everything going on. Uh, what I will do um, tomorrow, so I'll kind of wrap this video up now. Um, I've got to get another tomorrow and do the cables and stuff under the, the dash, uh, get all that shit tidied up. Um, but what I will do once that's done, I just kind of want to tidy the inside up. I'll push back out of the garage, I'll turn it on and just let it run up to temp. Uh, and then I'll check the timing, see if that needs to be adjusted. I'll take the plugs out, really clean the, like clean all the plugs up because they're probably fouled up as all shit. If that's what's coming out of the exhaust. I can imagine the plugs are probably all black and just disgusting. Um, so I'll pull those in. Uh, I've got to go inside and edit some videos and get some content and stuff done. Got a few new merch designs I've got to finish off, get those off to the printers. Um, but outside of that, uh, yeah, should be good to go. So yeah, if you're enjoying what you're watching, let me know. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, follow down below. Um, Give us any comments if there's anything you'd like to know about. And uh, yeah, till next time, guys. I will see you all very soon.